G'day there guys, how's it going? It's Cody, coming to you guys with a video. I haven't made one in quite a while. Um, I'm back from my trip that I did with CP, and I guess I've been very busy lately with many projects that I've been doing, um, and I guess I'm making up an excuse for why I haven't released any other videos of that trip. It's just I haven't had the time to sit down and edit those videos. Um, but it has sort of been holding me back from wanting to make videos because I normally like to keep it in a timeline sort of organized manner. One video that's released after the other, um, day by day kind of thing. And this sort of business that I've been encountering has just sort of held me back in a way from doing a video like this, which is, I don't know what this is going to be about, it's more like a sort of an update video where this channel's going sort of video and... I don't know my sort of plans for 2020 um, as it is the new year happy new year merry christmas and all that happy holidays to everyone out there um hope you've been enjoying yourselves but i guess this is sort of like a in a way like a sort of self therapy kind of video as well just sort of talking to myself to the camera to you guys um if you like as well um but yeah i got so many things that i sort of want to just cover and get off my chest and talk to you guys about. Um, as you guys can see in the background, uh, there's a vision board. I've been working on a vision board. I love doing these every year. Um, just all the things that I want to accomplish are on this, on this board and um, it's sort of a, I'm a visual person so I like to see my goals um, and then I can practice visualization and all that cool stuff that's in uh, this book here, The Secret. Um, finished reading this book near the end of last year uh, and it just bloody changed my life. I managed to land um, some client work which is what I've been working on um, and I've just increased my income dramatically with uh, blogging and stuff like that as well. Um, straight after reading that book which was quite amazing and I've just been implementing that sort of stuff. Um, but that's also another thing like I sort of like to learn new things and in 2019 that saw me um, mid 2019 I started my blog called Cycle Travel Overload which is everything about bicycle touring and bike packing which is pretty much all the vlogs you guys have kind of recently seen of me is traveling around Australia, traveling around the UK, uh, Japan and, and um, the US is when I kind of started doing it. Um, and I kind of wanted to take that passion and turn it into a blog where I can help people travel around the world and that's sort of what that website's about and also on that note um, I think the rest of the vlogs from my Europe trip with CP are going to be posted on that YouTube channel at cycletraveloverload.com. I think it's up here. It's up here. Um, that'll be... I'll try and link it up there if I can. Um, but that YouTube channel um, is where I'm going to be posting like my bicycle traveling, bicycle touring videos. So if you guys are interested in that stuff, which I'm pretty sure most of you guys are, because that's what I've been you know sort of doing recently is that sort of stuff so yeah i'm gonna make that transition and that would that that sort of leads me to this channel's purpose this channel's direction and all that kind of stuff i named this channel after my name cody orgel because i really wanted this channel to be something that is a reflection of my life and things that i learn in my life that i can sort of share with you guys as an audience that sort of can help you in any sort of way if that makes sense um, a few of my goals, one of my main goals is to give back and help people and try and change the lives of as many people as I can in, you know, whatever little way I can. In order to do that, I think the best vehicle is through this channel and, um, another blog, CodyOrgle.com, where, uh, I sort of share my business ventures and my entrepreneurial sort of ventures and that sort of stuff, because I've been, um, trying to build a business for over five years now. I've sort of been struggling here and there, I guess, because I've just been trying to find that life balance, that sort of lifestyle where, you know, it creates, like, I have a financial freedom, but it's also the time. Like, I have a lot of time to do what I love, and it's sort of trying to find that really nice blend, and I think that's, like, the, like the most important thing that I've been trying to strive for lately is trying to make, you know, income that creates financial freedom. But then it's not something that I'm... Like, I kind of don't really like the word hustle. It gets thrown around a lot. I think my phone's ringing. But 
it really drives me nuts because people are saying like hustle hustle it's like this cool new thing don't get me wrong like i like the idea of working hard at your dreams and chasing your dreams and stuff but like if you're just hustling you know like the idea of that sort of working your butt off to enjoy the weekend that that sort of thing like i don't like that it's sort of like it makes no sense to me so instead i've been trying to design this life where um you know i sort of can live well happy you know meaningful all that kind of stuff you know what i mean so it's really hard to put this stuff into words but i'm trying my best but yeah i, th I think that's sort of like what this channel is, is going to embody so i'm going to be like focusing on things like blogging like how i've taken my blog um last month it did 300 dollars, which isn't a lot of money but it's definitely pretty decent you know it's passive income once I've done the work, it's three months, uh, sorry, seven months into this blog and it's making $300 a month. It's just going to continue to make that and or more, definitely more. It's increasing um, every month without me having to do much work because I've put all the work into it. So now it's just reaping those benefits, you know. So I'd love to talk a lot about blogging. Um, I took a course on blogging and I've just been immersed in the process for the last seven months. I've learned quite a lot and I want to share what I've learned. In hopes, you know, if you're interested in taking a true passion of you of yours, um, something that you really enjoy, you know a lot about, um, and you think you can help someone else, um, taking that idea, turning it into a blog, creating content, and teaching others how to do it, and in turn making, you know, some extra income or completely replacing your income. I just, I just love that idea. So yeah, that's what sort of the blog is going to be about. This uh, Cody Orgel channel, sorry, but it's also. I think that's one half of it, is that money and the financial freedom and, you know, living comfortably financially. Like, that's one one part of the goal. And then the other half is sort of like personal development or it's, um, you know, trying to figure out that balance that I was talking about, that lifestyle balance. Um, and there's a lot of techniques that I've been learning and practicing lately through, like, meditation, cold shower therapy, like the Wim Hof breathing methods, um, you know, meditations, as I said, and running and, and doing all these sort of these, this work on yourself, on the, on the person you are and trying to understand this consciousness of ours, um, and truly just going deep into that and trying to completely embody it. Like that's the second half of it. And I'd love to share like what's been working wonders for me. Um, on that side of the spectrum on this channel as well. So that's sort of where I think I want to go with that um, But yeah, I just thought I'd just film a quick video. It's probably not going to be quick. Who knows how long this is going to be um, Just sharing Yeah, my ideas and stuff like that. I think I just wanted to just put out a video um, This probably this video probably has no purpose or like meaning um, in terms of for you guys watching it's just something that I just wanted to put out there um, but I hope you guys are like setting goals and, um, and, uh, you know, chasing after what you truly want to go after in 2020. Um, I know when I set my goals, I like every Sunday, like I take a Sunday off and I just journal and write where I want to be, what I want to do, who I want to be. And I think that's like my goal setting process that I do every Sunday. So it's not like something that I do, you know, every New Year's, although I did it, I did do it this New Year's because it's just sort of, I guess I like that, you know, turn of the new decade as it is. Um, but yeah, I just like to have that time every Sunday just to sit down and recollect and just sort of figure everything out. And um, yeah, I did that and I'm just looking at my goals and I'm thinking, you know, like, is it really, is that what I want to do? Is like, is that it? You know what I mean? Like. It's just been stressing me out lately. I've just been looking at my goals and thinking, is that it? Is that really it? Because if that's it, then that's my life right there, my purpose in life. And I'm just trying to come to grips with that understanding. Um, I guess part of it's just been a little stressful as well because we've had the um, bushfires here in Australia and um, partly it's just devastating and it's sad and... and my compassion is real with it like just feel real sorry for the people that are affected um, and all that stuff and i guess another part of that is like because of the fires i haven't been able to get out on my bike out in nature 
and just sort of get that refresh that I'm so after because um, I guess it gets me stressed out a little bit like um, you know just being cooped up inside and not really being able to go and explore um, that's also another thing like I kind of just want to finish like there's so many things that I want to do guys there's so many things that I want to do I guess I have this paralysis in a way like I just don't know what one to go after first um, I obviously like understand that I have a heap of time on my hands but I just want to do it all now like I lack the patience sometimes like I want to move out of home living with my parents still I could just want to move out of home like I can do it right now but it just messes with me like I I just don't know what to do guys um, I don't know it's a little bit hard but um, I'm sure I'll figure it out over some time. Um, yeah. I want to try like solo traveling. Where that has pretty much nothing to do with bicycle touring. Or traveling by bike. It's just going to somewhere like Bali. Which is one of the places I want to go to. Just getting an Airbnb for a few days. Staying in one place. Exploring that area. Then going somewhere else. You know renting like a scooter. And just traveling around Bali. And checking out all the cool sites. And creating videos obviously and that sort of stuff you know that's just something else that I wanted to do as well but it's like if I rent then I'm sort of stuck for a year where you know I kind of can't really go anywhere and that nomad inside of me is like oh I just can't stand that but then also the other side of me is like I want to create structure as well because I feel sometimes like when I'm traveling and I don't there's like not much structure you know, you meet new friends or new people on the road, but then you leave them the next day. And it's like, I want to kind of, you know, make friends and sort of stay friends, you know, face-to-face -face contact sort of stuff. But it's like when you're traveling, it's like, that's really hard to do. But then it's like, it's like if I'm renting, then I can't really travel. And it's just messing with my mind so much. I've been trying to meditate on this forever. Um, yeah, but hopefully I'll figure it out. Um, anyway, I just thought I'd oh, give you guys a bit of insight onto that. But um, yeah, so that's where the channel's going. It's towards more personal development stuff. Um, you know, things... Things that are, you know, rebuilding myself as a human that are working for me, that I feel like I want to share and that you may benefit from too. And also documenting my entrepreneurial journey, my business ventures and the things that I've been doing. So I should just quickly um, let you guys have some insight on that. I think I, I briefly mentioned blogging, but also um, with the client work, like I been doing social media managing which is something that I actually kind of wanted to do it was a bit of a dream that I had a few years ago um, I just like the know-how into getting people on board like clients and you know figuring out what to do for them and stuff but over the last five years of doing YouTube um, you know and being in this sort of social media world I've developed skills that are actually really beneficial right now and I'm able to help two brands with their social media bring in new clients and do that sort of stuff and this opportunity just sort of fell in my lap it was really amazing um and it's been going well so far and it's paying pretty good as well so i'm actually really happy about that um that's also something else that i might um you know start sharing on this channel as well as how i've sort of you know built up that sort of um social media marketing and and uh, managing business as well. Um, I think that'd be pretty cool as well. But yeah, I also like so many things, guys. So many things. Like I wanna. It's been a dream of mine since I've been a kid and watching Jamie Oliver. Um, I've been uh, vegan for over two years now. Uh, eating some mangoes right now, and um, I've learned a lot in terms of why I do it. Um, what's the point? And then also, like, you know, creating recipes and cooking really nice food. So, I want to share that know-how as well. Whether that's through another blog, 
and a YouTube channel. You know, that's... I've always wanted to have a cooking show. And it's crazy that with YouTube and, and that, there's no gatekeepers. So we can, you know, do whatever we want to do. We can go after our passions and create a business around them. Um, and, you know, do the greater good for the world. And that's my hope with, with the vegan cooking show. I've always wanted to have a cookbook. Like, I want to publish my own cookbook. Like, that's a dream. And, you know, I'm going to pursue that this year. So, you know, that's just another thing. Like, what else is there, guys? There's so many things I want to do. Like, reading books. Like, you know, that's just the biggest stuff I'm looking for here, though. Um, yeah, I've also gotten back into, like, long-distance running and that sort of stuff as well. Um, I don't really have an ambition. I was thinking about it to start a blog around that as well, but there's only so many hours in the day, you know, so... Uh, I don't know what this video was. It was just me talking to the camera, just trying to get my words out. Um, yeah, so that's, that's that. Um, thank you guys for watching and, um, all the best in 2020. I hope it is a ripper of a year for you guys. Um, oh yeah, I also wanted to finish my tour around Australia, you know, like by rent. I can't fly up to Cairns and finish that loop around the top end, back down, back into Melbourne. So I want to do that too, but these fires as well, like it's just, I've got to wait. I need patience. <laughs> Thanks guys. I'll see you in the next one.